Clean energy stocks were the theme last year, with the Clean Energy Fund posting a 177% return. After a big drop in February, these stocks are on sale once again, and I'm gonna show you how to get in on the biggest opportunities, including the top five renewable energy penny stocks to take advantage of that recovery. We're talking green energy today on Let's Talk Money. Hey Bowtie Nation, Joseph Hogue here with the Let's Talk Money channel. I wanna send a special shout out to all you out there in the nation. Thank you for spending a part of your day to be here. If you're not part of that community yet, just click that little red subscribe button. It's free and you'll never miss an episode. Nation Clean Energy was the undisputed leader in stocks last year with the Clean Energy ETF, the First Trust Green Energy Index Fund, ticker QCLN, posting a 214% return through January of this year. Renewable energy stocks beat out electric vehicles. They beat self-driving stocks. They even beat out the amazing 170% return on the ARK Innovation ETF. But what a difference a month makes. Those same clean energy stocks are now down 24% since early February. A quarter of the fund's value vanished into thin air. We've covered clean energy stocks on the channel before, and I still think this could be one of the strongest themes over the next decade. One of President Biden's first official acts the day he was sworn in was to cancel the Keystone XL pipeline, and that push to green energy is gonna be a strategic part of the administration. The $2 trillion infrastructure spending proposal has clean tech at its centerpiece, and Biden's laid out nine steps he wants to take for that green energy trend. Prices are coming down for clean energy technology, demand for energy is going exponential, and a 51% increase in the price of oil and other energy costs over the last three months is putting the focus once again on alternative fuels. In fact, the only thing that has changed in this last month is now these stocks are selling at a discount for a second chance on the theme. In this video, I'll show you why clean energy stocks have fallen lately. I'll share the forces setting the group up for a rebound and then I'll reveal the five green energy penny stocks I'm watching right now. Nation, the reason clean energy stocks have fallen so much lately is actually pretty simple, but has absolutely no effect on the long-term potential of these companies. Now we've seen interest rates nearly double in just three months, going from just 0.95% on the 10-year treasury to over 1.7% recently. The problem is in the most basic way a stock is valued, on how much those future cash flows are worth to an investor today. Now, I don't want to get too far into this because I want to get to those five clean energy penny stocks, so I'll leave a link in the video description below that goes into more detail, highlights how much further stocks could fall, and my strategy for investing. Basically though, to find out how much a stock is worth, that fundamental value, you add up all the expected future cash flows and then discount them by an interest rate. So as that interest rate increases, you're taking more off those future earnings and the stock price falls. And since these green energy stocks have so much potential in those future cash flows, they've fallen more than other stocks on those rise in rates. But none of this has any effect on the potential for renewable energy or these companies. According to Allied Market Research, the global renewable energy market could grow to a $1.5 trillion opportunity by 2025 from just $928 billion in 2017. The U.S. Energy Information Administration estimates renewables consumption in the U.S. alone will rise to 13.4 quadrillion BTUs by next year, growing by 17% since 2019. That trend to clean energy is now unstoppable, and with the U.S. rejoining the Paris Climate Accords, it's only gonna build momentum. Now, whenever we go to invest in these big multi-year themes, so EV stocks, uh, biotech, clean energy, I like to first start with a couple of funds to add to the portfolio. I'm gonna do this for two reasons. First is since this theme that we're looking at is gonna benefit from those broad trends, then we want broad exposure. Buying a clean energy fund with part of your money is gonna give you that exposure to the entire group, plus a lot of stocks that might not be available in your domestic stock market. These funds are also excellent resources to start your search for those individual stocks in that renewables theme. You can go to any website for an ETF, click on the holdings tab in the menu, and get a list of clean energy stocks to research further. First here is one of the largest, the First Trust Clean Edge Green Energy Fund ticker QCLN. The ETF invests in 44 companies across solar, biofuels, and advanced batteries. Shares are up a whopping 183% last year and have produced a 16% annualized return over the last decade. And you see that diversification you get here with a third of the fund in those equipment providers, about 15% in autos and 15% in alternative electricity, but really exposure across 10 industries. Here you can see the top stocks held with Tesla leading the pack and making up 9% of assets, but some strong green energy stocks here. Plug Power we recommended in a video back in September, and Albemarle back in January of last year. The fund is a little expensive at an expense ratio of 0.6% annually, but that's gonna be typical of this kind of theme investing. 
you're not gonna get the same 0.2 expense ratio that you see in those index funds. Now, if you want more specific exposure, the Invesco Solar ETF, ticker TAN, holds 37 solar energy stocks and produced a 233% return last year. The fund is largely invested in those tech stocks making this happen, but has a third of the assets in utility companies as well. The solar ETF is a little more diversified geographically here with just under half the stocks based in the US, but exposure to Asia and European companies as well. And if you look at the solar stocks held in this fund, you're gonna see some overlap with that other clean energy fund like Enphase and, and First Solar. You've also got a solid mix of stocks that aren't available in the US or the Canadian exchanges here. So a great way to invest in solar globally. So I like both of these clean energy funds, but I wanna add that potential upside that you only get by picking the best stocks in the group and not just any stock, but the best penny stocks. Our first green penny stock is Uranium Energy Corporation, ticker UEC, a $620 million explorer and processor of uranium for nuclear energy. I highlighted uranium in a video a few weeks ago on that massive build out in nuclear reactors and a jump in prices. The uranium spot price has jumped more than 70% since 2016, and a construction of 53 new reactors globally should drive that for years to come. UEC is a pre-production miner with the potential for up to 4 million pounds a year and three projects in the United States, an interest in the Athabasca Basin in Canada, and a portfolio of projects in Paraguay. The company is fully licensed on its projects, with a potential production profile of 4 million pounds of uranium annually from its Texas and Wyoming fields. In fact, the Reno Creek project is the largest permitted uranium project in the U.S. in a pre-construction stage with over 26 million pounds of measured and indicated resources. UEC has recently begun a physical uranium initiative as well, buying drummed uranium at the spot price but below industry mining costs and has more than 1.4 million pounds of warehoused uranium. And the company's Hobson processing plant in Texas has 2 million pounds per year in processing capacity, and it benefits from that proximity to those local mines for a critical cost advantage. The company has $95 million in balance sheet cash and investments against just $10 million in debt. So net cash of $85 million here gives it plenty of that financial flexibility to take these assets to production. I'll leave a link to the company's full investor presentation in the description below, so check that out. This next penny stock is a fun one. Electromechanica Vehicles, ticker SOLO, is a Canadian EV manufacturer with a twist. Its main product is a single seat, three wheeled electric car. Now this is an untapped niche in that electric space with solid potential in the personal daily use market. The car has a hundred mile range per charge and is fully charged in under four hours. That's half the time it takes to charge the average electric vehicle. The car has an 80 mile an hour top speed and is priced at just $18,500 each. Production began last August with a capacity of 20,000 cars annually. And they're selling right now through 10 retail stores in California, Arizona, and Oregon with plans to expand throughout the West Coast and Colorado. Now this is one, another one with a rock solid balance sheet of 101 million Canadian dollars in cash and no debt. A great penny stock play in pollution control here and one of the smaller companies on the list 91 million dollar fuel tech ticker ftek fuel tech develops multi-pollutant emission control systems that can be attached to industrial factories and utilities the market for pollution systems is expected to reach 101 billion dollars by 2027 from just 67 billion in 2019 that's being driven by the fact that 95 percent of the global population is living in areas designated as unhealthy air quality by the world health organization revenue is evenly split here between pollution control segment and that chemicals technology segment that promotes boiler efficiencies in coal oil biomass and solid waste boilers with more than 1200 control systems installed globally customers include utilities like first energy and duke industrial users like dow and bp and global producers now the pandemic did hit its 2020 sales but it's refocused with an improved cost structure and expects stronger sales this year next year is probably the riskiest penny stock of the group even though it's the largest at 865 million dollars American Battery Materials, ticker ABML. The company is a pre-production miner of lithium and unless you've been living under a rock lately, you know lithium is the metal in tech right now. Lithium demand is expected to grow 40% annually through 2025 for its use in electric vehicles, cell phones, at power storage, just about everything. The company holds 26,000 acres in Nevada with 1,300 claims around the Railroad Valley Lithium Project with initial surveys showing economic concentrations throughout the field. But this is a pre-production company, so no revenues yet, and it still needs to complete those geological surveys and the permitting. The demand is definitely there for lithium. The company just needs to get it out of the ground. Next on our clean energy penny stocks list, $296 million Beam Global, ticker BEEM. And I know you're looking at that $37 price per share and thinking this is not a penny stock. But remember, penny stocks are about the size of the company, not that share price. 
Beam has a market cap under $300 million, which puts it in the smallest third of stocks traded on the US exchanges and that penny stock growth potential that we're looking for. For example, if this company were to grow to even the size of, say, Enphase Energy at $20 billion, that would mean a 6,800% return for investors. Now, Beam makes infrastructure products for electrification, including EV charging as well as outdoor media. It has two chargers for electric vehicles already patented, with two more products in development, including a drone recharger. Bloomberg forecasts 559 million electric vehicles could be on the road by 2040, but the big bottleneck here in the system is that charging capacity. We simply don't have enough chargers available to meet that demand. Beam already has hundreds of products deployed across the US with customers including the Department of Energy, McDonald's, and General Motors. It owns eight patents in the US, China, and the European Union. It's a pristine balance sheet here with $12.3 million in cash and no debt, generating $4.5 million in sales each year. Click on the video to the right for the seven penny stocks that pay dividends. Seven stocks to buy with the upside penny stock potential that pay you while you wait. Don't forget to join the Let's Talk Money community by tapping that subscribe button and clicking the bell notification.